Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to figure out how to solve this math word problem, which is the following. Kim's phone and gas bill is $126. Her gas bill was 2.3 times her phone bill. How much was each bill? All right, so this is the problem. Feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, now before I show you the answer, let's take uh, one more look at the problem. So Kim's phone and gas bill in total is $126. Her gas bill was 2.3 times her phone bill. So how much was each individual bill? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following. Her phone bill is approximately $38.18, and her gas bill is approximately $87.81. All right, now, if you got this right, we definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, how did you solve this problem? I know it seems easy, but I'm a bit confused. Well, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, I'm going to be using a little bit of algebra to solve this problem. But uh, don't be afraid of this. Again, I'm going to break it down step by step, and let's go ahead and get into it right now. All right, so the first step in solving any math problem is to make sure you actually understand the problem and the question. And a good way of doing that is to read a problem at least three times. Really go through all the information in the problem and uh, focus in on the specific question being asked. Okay, so once again, Kim's phone and gas bill is $126. Her gas bill is 2.3 times her phone bill. And the question here is, how much was each individual bill? So to answer the question, we need to determine how much was her phone bill and how much was her gas bill. Okay, so once you understand a question, what you want to do is try to model or visualize what's going on. Because if you could do this, it's oftentimes very easy to see how to solve the problem. Okay, so this is the way that uh, I kind of look at the problem. Now, the great thing about math is that there's not just any one way to solve a problem. But to whatever you do, make sure it's logical. And if someone like a teacher, for example, is grading your work, they can understand what you are doing. Okay, so here is uh, Kim's phone bill. And we know that uh, her gas bill is 2.3 times whatever her phone bill is. So the grand total of both of these bills is $126. Now, as I indicated in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem because algebra is an awesome tool because I can let a variable, let's say like X, represent an unknown value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let uh, this variable X represent Kim's phone bill. Now we know that her gas bill is 2.3 times whatever her phone bill is. Now if I say her phone bill is X uh, dollars, well her gas bill is going to be 2.3 times that amount. So algebraically it's going to be 2.3 times X. Okay, so X plus 2.3X is going to be equal to $126. So in other words, her phone bill plus her gas bill, and again, we're using algebra now to express the amounts of these bills, is a grand total of $126. So if we can figure out what X is equal to, we can determine uh, what her phone bill is, and we can easily determine what the gas bill is as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, be very specific about these variables. So this is the way you want to do it when you are solving a math or an algebra word problem. You want to uh, delineate what each variable stands for. So we're going to say let x equal her phone bill, and of course 2.3x will uh, equal the amount of her gas bill. Okay, so to solve for x, we need to construct in, a, uh, in an equation. So you can see right here, I pretty much gave you that equation. So x plus 2.3x is equal to 126, but we want to write it out like so. All right, so x plus 2.3x is equal to 126. So if we could solve this basic linear equation for x, we can answer the question. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that like 
and subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. My goal is to help as many people as possible in mathematics, and specifically, I'm trying to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. Also, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's get into the steps to solve this basic linear equation. So we have x plus 2.3x is equal to 126. So these two uh, right here are what we call like terms. So in front of this x is actually a 1. So 1 plus 2.3 is 3.3x. Okay, so we have 3.3x is equal to 126. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3.3. So we have 126 divided by 3.3, and we're going to get approximately 38.18. Okay, so this is what x is equal to, but uh, we're not done right here. Now, oftentimes, uh, a lot of students, a lot of algebra students will be all excited to be like, yes, yes, I solved the problem. And uh, they'll just kind of write down what x is equal to, and then they'll stop. Well, we can't stop until we answer the full question. And the full question is, how much was each bill? Okay, so x is equal to 38.18. But to remember, that represents uh, Kim's phone bill in dollars. So her phone bill is approximately $38.18. Now, her gas bill is going to be 2.3 times that amount. So 2.3 times 38 0.18 is approximately 87.81. Okay, so this is her gas bill. And uh, let's just kind of add these two together and see if we get pretty close to $126. So 38.18 plus uh, 87.81 is 125.99. That's pretty close to $126. Remember, we are rounding a bit, and that is perfectly fine. Okay, so once again, algebra is an amazing tool to solve uh, problems. Now, if you were able to solve this problem without using algebra, that is fantastic. But you need to be comfortable you know, using algebra, using variables to represent unknown values, setting up basic equations, and then, of course, solving these equations. Now, if you don't know um, algebra in terms of how to solve basic linear equations, well, this is just something that you have to work on. But all of this stuff you can learn, and the way to learn this stuff is one skill at a time. And then, of course, once you learn that skill, the only way to master it and retain it is to practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.